right, starting day six. We just came out of Thornton Gap after a night in the hostel, and it's cold. We're going to do about 14 miles today, uh, which is not bad considering this pack weighs five million pounds this morning. It's actually not that bad, but it's full. And uh, we're going uphill. So there's a 90% chance of rain tomorrow morning. And uh, lasting most of the day according to the weather. So there's a chance, a 90% chance, that we will uh, get picked up tomorrow morning and go back to that same hostel and uh, wait out the rain. But we'll see because we are tacker tough or something like that. Anyway, day six, 80 miles so far. Here we All go. All right, guys, I've got some fellas here with the Potomac Appalachian Trail Club, and they got their tools, and they've been uh, clearing the trail up ahead. And I tell you what, all us through hikers, you do appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Take, take some pictures of those blowdowns we cut out. I sure will. I'll do that. Thank you, guys. All right, here's a little stream, water source on the trail. It's gotten cold. I uh, took off my jacket. I got warm going up the hill. Now we've had this long downhill. I'm cold. I understand we have a monster uphill up ahead. So that'll change all that. All right, what's this? There's a sign. Nam. I don't think that's it. Something here. I'll read that later. All right. Anyway, it's a good day. Trail looks good. Those guys are amazing. There was some, all of the little um, rocks they put to block the erosion. They uh, tr they had those big tools. Right here's an example. They sweep this, get all the leaves out so the water doesn't rush over it and then wear the trail. All right, this looks like the beginning of a climb, so I'll be warming up. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, this is the area where those guys were working. Here's the blowdown. Look at all these trees that were cut. And, uh, Oh my goodness, they did a lot of work. Clean this mess up here. Uh-oh. When did they leave here? Yeah, that's a helmet used with a chainsaw. Oh, is that a chainsaw? That's a chainsaw. Um, Jerry Taylor. Oh, oh, that's too bad they left this. Maybe they left it on purpose. I don't know. All right, here we are on top of a mountain. Just did about a 1200 foot climb. Actually, it wasn't a painful climb. The slope was good. We come up here, there's this lookout. It's funny on the parkway or the Skyline Drive, there's a pull over here and all these other people are down there. They came up here an easier way in their automobiles. All right, anyway, you see the crows down there flying around. And we're looking down at them, pretty sight. All right, just left that scenic overview. And uh, it got cold. Put on my jacket. So uh, thank you, Bigfoot, for recommending this Patagonia light hooded pullover thing. And it does work. It's cool. Cool in terms of it's effective, not cool in terms of cold. It's a light and it's warm. I like it. Looks like I'm hiking up to a little tower here. 
I'll check this out in a second. I might have a picture for you. All right. It's not a pleasant hike today. It's interesting. It's a. Uh, I think it's like 14.1 miles and uh, generally it's been rolling uh, I mean there were a couple sections I felt like I was on a conveyor belt it was just smooth and level and I felt like I could walk all day we just made one climb but it was uh, it wasn't too bad and uh, I want to say 1100 or so feet maybe more we were looking on the gut hook and we were afraid of it when we saw it, but it just never really materialized that way. So I wonder if it was because we stayed at a shelter last night. I say we, this was my uh, through hiking friend I've met, uh, Groot's his name. And, uh, He's uh, been out on the trail. He hit, I guess he's about 950 miles, maybe a little bit more. Here's that view to the south. I'll get off the trail here for just a little bit. Ugh. If I'm going to the north, I guess this would be a view to the west with briars everywhere. There we go. Farm down there. Beautiful valley. Cool. Anyway, I was wondering if it was because of the hostel. We stayed there last night. We had really good food at a restaurant. And uh, slept on a real bed. But still went 14 miles yesterday. And we're popping out 14 again. And... Uh, just it was like hey this is easy i don't want to say that and curse myself but this has been no no real problem today got a little chilly here at the end put on my sweater a while ago but just a real fun day and i'm supposed to have weather coming in if i ever get a phone signal i'll check it and uh, maybe get some ideas there what we're going to do but we're kind of rolling along on the ridges, we're following the mountaintop here. Nice. Again, all you guys coming up behind, read these things. I made that mistake. So there's a spring 400 yards down there. Thank goodness I don't need to go 400 yards for water. And there's what we like. And uh, like seeing, my friend tends to get lost at the intersections. I'll look up and he's going on the wrong trail. And uh, we've kind of, come, kind of agreed that he's the pilot and I'll be the navigator. Uh, yeah, he'll sit down and make the big picture of what we're going to do today. And I like that, especially since I've only been doing this. This is, I said, my sixth day. And. Uh, he really puts a lot of insight to the trail on things that I don't think about. And like yesterday was my first time going to a hostel, going into a town. And it was hot yesterday. It's amazing what 24 hours of doing the weather. It was clear, hot, sunny. Today's overcast and pretty cool right now. But uh, he said, now we need to do this, need to do this. I'm like, why? And he. Then we did our uh, um, resupply, and you know it's kind of nice having another person there for that because uh, you know you get a package of uh, uh, Cliff Bars, for example. They had a, a sale. Walmart had a sale on Cliff Bars. Luckily, we both like the same kind, and he said. I'll buy a box and we'll split it. And we did that with a couple of things. And uh, that made it a little bit easier. Easier on the wallet and 
and he'd feel bad buying a big box and having to leave it at a hiker box somewhere. But anyway, it's been a good day so far. We'll be heading to a shelter in I think just a mile or two. And it'll be an easy day. I think it's only one o'clock. Must be two o'clock. And we're coming on 14 miles. All right, talk to you a bit. All right, so it's end of day six. I'm at Gravel Springs Hut. It's a cold day. Um, we've got a good fire going. Just had dinner. Did 14.1 today. We got friends that we've met out here. Everybody's shivering. We have actors. Uh, this is a pretty cool um, shelter. They've got a really good water supply. There's a uh, Actors. Uh, we've got uh, this is one little stream. Here's another one. You have to cross all of these just to get to the shelter. And it's right by the shelter. But over here, they've got it um, kind of dammed up. You can load your water there. Um, one of the cool things about um, all of the all of the shelters we've seen in Shenandoah so far are they all have this concrete fireplace and it's uh, in front of the shelter and it's uh and they're, they're made and, and it's the only place you can have fires are at the these things on the shelter they have a bear box over here and uh we had a ranger come visit us today real nice lady um, she did ask to see our permits and uh, so I'm glad we had permits so anyway that that's going good it looks like a great day and uh, we have a big rain day they're saying 100% chance of rain tomorrow uh, through like six o'clock in the evening so we're gonna early in the morning head over back to the hostel she's gonna pick us up two tenths of a mile from here and then uh, We'll have an easy day tomorrow and then hit it hard the next day. Everybody have a great day. All right, day seven. I'm sitting in the hostel. We got up this morning and it was pouring rain as they predicted. And we walked two tenths of a mile up to the uh, Skyline Parkway and the uh, our hostel driver, she met us this morning at uh, 8.30 in the rain. We stood there about one minute. She pulled up and uh, uh, we jumped in the car and she brought us back. Uh, Open Arms Hostel in Luray, Virginia. And it's a wonderful place. Um, I had someone ask me to talk about it. Uh, the I think it's a wonderful hostel. Of course, it's my first one. Um, the guy I'm hiking with, he's been to several and he gave it a good thumbs up. Um, what I can tell you is it's $30 a night to stay here, $5 if you want to get your um, uh, laundry done. And she runs you in and out of town at no charge. And she also picks you up and drops you off at no charge. And that's a big deal because I tried my first ever attempt at hitchhiking. And after about three minutes, I was so damn embarrassed, I just gave up on that and uh, called her. So the uh the hostel's nice um I'm trying to see we there's a, a lady who chose not to pay to stay in the hostel she's out there in a tent and it's pouring rain uh, i hope she's happy out there um uh, see what else can i tell you about the hostel the um uh, she keeps some um, soft drinks here coffee um you can cook your food here open arms hostel as far as i'm concerned it's wonderful and uh, the, uh, you can get the information on it from either uh, AWOLS or Gut Hook. And uh, uh, good time so far. Been really good. We're going to be crashing here all day. Um, uh, the guy I'm hiking with is very excited because in 35 minutes, an all you can eat uh, lunch at a Chinese restaurant opens up. And. Um, we're going to do some damage. They're going to be telling us that we have to leave because we've eaten too much, I'm sure. Um, I did a resupply here in uh, Luray. Went to a, um, 
uh, Walmart, which is, I think, hiker's heaven as far as resupplying. And that worked easy. Um, uh, got all the food. And, uh, again, it helped having a partner because uh, uh, they had a 12-pack of Cliff Bars, which I poss couldn't possibly use. We split that, and we got powdered milk. And I've been using Knorr's, I think it's K-N-O-R-R-S, something like that, Knorr's uh, pastas. And um, also got something new, got the um, tortillas and um, uh, uh, peanut butter, which um, he was using a lot on the trail. And it looked really good, especially on those nights when you get in and it's um, uh, rainy and you don't want to get your gear out and cook. So you can... Uh, throw a couple of those things down and uh, it's really good. Also got um, Gatorade. I, I drink Gatorade, Gatorade all the time. I uh, keep it in one of the one of the um, little containers on the shoulder. So and that helps and it really makes a difference when, when you're going uphill. Just a little sip of that. Electrolytes kick in and uh, helps you scoot right along. Anyway, so day seven is a zero day. And uh, I guess that's biblical. You work for six and take the seventh off. But I don't plan on doing that all the time. That's just, this. it made sense today. It's uh, it's, it's lightning and thundering and uh, I'm supposed to do that all day. And I just wasn't, neither one of us was very excited about spending the whole day out there and that. The rain gear I got did work really good. Uh, both of them are my, I have a rain jacket. It's uh, made by Outdoor Research. And I, I went ahead and got the rain pants too. And uh, very lightweight, and uh, it was magic. So I recommend both of them. Anyway, that's all. Uh, so day six is over. It was 14.3. We checked on A-walls. And uh, 0.2 this morning. We won't count it. And then uh, I'm supposed to hit it hard tomorrow. Anyway, good to talk to you. I hope these are you enjoying the videos. I sure enjoy making them and hope they're helpful to hikers. Take care.